O2E TV. Public Access TV in Binghamton, New York is open to everyone, 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 everyone. going to have a sip of water really quick. Uh, uh, mm. Cool, clear, delicious water. New York water. And it's frack-free water. Right? I'm asking you. We live in New York. Our water is fine. Right? Hmm. Okay, my name's Brett Jennings. I'm uh, the one of the directors for the Halstead Great Bend Joint Sewer Authority. I'm also a counselor for Great Bend Borough. In Great Bend, we've had issues the last two weeks uh, resulting from uh, black water in people's wells. And that would happen for a couple days and then would clear up. And we've had complaints to the sewer authority wondering if um, we had any breaks in our lines. The water was actually black. A few people actually had two micron filters for filtering their water, and there was a tar-like substance set on these filters. The, f the f person that I talked to Monday night had brown residue form on top of his pasta that he was trying to boil with it. We're getting something black, and the only change in the area is uh, the coil well pad drilled by WPX Energy in Liberty Township, which is feet from Great Bend Township. Bend Township. How many feet? I'm not sure exactly, but it's 4,400 feet from the Susquehanna River. Which way does the river flow from Great Bend to Binghamton? The river flows north and it's 13 miles at that point to the intake of the Binghamton Waterworks. What's your opinion? Do you think the, the river is fine? Uh, I believe this is something they're going to have to log in their source water assessment. So the city of Binghamton take their water directly from the river. They have a few wells, but their water intake is just off of Broom Street. So the Binghamton does have a water intake that comes directly from the river. Correct. So is there any chance right now that this black polluted water from Great Bend is getting into Binghamton's water supply? there's a probability there. So could you imagine you're just in your home and your well water turns black. I mean, that's a big enough problem as it is. Like, how are you going to drink? How are you going to bathe? What, are you going to bathe in black water? I don't want to bathe in black water. Um, there's a dairy farmer in Bradford County, Pennsylvania, where my family is from. Um, organic dairy farmer and she posted pictures on Facebook where she has a little cup where her cows drink from and the water is white. It's like milk. But it's not milk. It's water. It's her water. It's what she drinks and what she has to give to her cows. And oh by the way her cows are still being milked. So those cows that are drinking that white colored water I mean who knows what it is it can't be good that milk is entering the food supply after Brett Jennings told me that story I started thinking to myself wait a minute black water in Great Bend Borough because of fracking likely caused do I know it for a fact no but come on there's a big drill rig up there for a couple of weeks. There's a big drill rig up there for a couple of weeks. The rig com rigs come down, they start fracking, and the water here turns black. So that doesn't take really kind of like a rocket scientist. It doesn't take, you know, 
we don't need science to say that when water turns black, that's a problem. When water turns white, that's a problem. I was in Bradford County, Pennsylvania with the dairy that I was telling you about. Do you need a test? Do you really need a scientific test to test your black water? What's that? I don't know. Look like dog shit to me. Yeah, look like dog shit to me too. Smell! Huh? Smell! <laughs> Ugh. Smell like dog shit? <laughs> it smell like dog shit. <clears throat> Taste! Huh? Taste! <laughs> Taste like dog shit? Yeah. Taste like dog shit. Mm. Good thing we don't step in it. Do you really need a scientific test to test your black water? You don't want to drink that. I don't want to drink it. But Brett told me that Great Ben Burrow is upstream of the city of Binghamton. And I didn't ever really think about that before. I started thinking. I'm like, wait a minute. So we've got this Susquehanna River Basin. You know, let's talk about what a drainage basin is. So there's like a big hill over here and a big hill over here and a river down in the valley. And basically any of the rain that lands anywhere within that area eventually ends up in the river through these little streams, little tributaries. They get bigger and bigger. Finally, they hit the river. That's what a drainage basin is or that's what a river basin is. And we live right here in the Susquehanna River Basin. And sometimes you'll even be driving along a tall ridge, a high mountain ridge, and you're at the boundary between two different basins where you, you spill your drink over here and that's going to go into the Susquehanna. And you spill your drink over here and that's going to go into the Delaware. And there's places like that down around eastern Broome County. There is such a ridge. So I started asking myself how many fracking operations are going on in the Susquehanna River Basin upstream of the city of Binghamton. And you're like, hold it, Bill. Didn't you just tell me that New York has a moratorium on fracking? Yes. There's no fracking going on in New York. Not, not the horizontal, high-volume hydrofracking. Not that kind. There might be some fracking of some vertical wells in western New York. There is a moratorium. I mean, there is an absolute moratorium on high-volume, horizontal hydrofracking in shales in New York State. That's a fact. But here's what I didn't realize, okay? So if you look at the map of New York State, you know, the, the, set, the headwaters for this Susquehanna is this, this large alluvium, this kind of this, uh, wetland area up around Cooperstown. And it kind of like meanders down, 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 down through Eastern Broome. And then it actually dips down into Pennsylvania around Susquehanna Depot area. And then it curves around by Great Bend. Hmm, maybe that's why they call it Great Bend, PA, right? Because the river turns. It's going south, and then it goes west, and then it comes back to the north again. So the Susquehanna takes this really circuitous route. So Susquehanna Depot. Great Bend back up towards Binghamton. And it turns out there's lots of fracking going on in the drainage basin, which is the headwaters for the water source of the city of Binghamton. Let me say that again, because it startled me there's fracking going on in Pennsylvania in the headwaters for the city of Binghamton's water supply. That's a fact. So when I started asking myself the question, I wonder how many wells there are. It took me a week to find the answer. What's your guess? Is it a dozen? Is it 12? What do you think? A couple dozen, 24? You know, maybe it's 50. It's 98. There are 98 unconventional wells in the headwaters, the drainage basin upstream 
of where the city of Binghamton takes its water directly from the Susquehanna. So any chemicals that are spilled on the surface, any diesel, you know, any inadvertent return to surface, that's actually an in industry term they use. Um, any blowouts of, of pipelines, drilling muds, blowouts, um, any abandoned wells, there's many of those, by the way. Nobody knows where they are, but they form conduits. So when they're putting this 15,000 PSI hydrofracking fluids down the hole, it can pop up like a geyser someplace else. That's usually what happens. So, right, so from there, it's migrating out, and you never know where it goes from there. I just dealt with one for the Chesapeake. Uh, so there's methane in there. And what I found out, based on what Brett told me, I did. I started digging. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. There's fracking going on upstream of the intake for the water source for the city of Binghamton? Are you telling me there's fracking going on in the water supply upstream of my city? I had no idea. I've been following this carefully for two and a half years. I'm like, what the fuck? 98. You know, four to five million gallons of water mixed with chemicals per well. Many hundreds of tons of these hydrofracking chemicals have been brought into this area over the last four years. Binghamton, your water has been fracked for four years and nobody is telling you this story if you think this is a news story why don't you call the executive editor of the press and sun bulletin his name is calvin stovall and let him know that you think this is an important story don't you think the people living in the city of binghamton have a right to have informed consent i mean People that live in Binghamton, if they know that their water supply has been fracked, maybe they're going to move. Maybe they're going to get a water filter system. You know, who knows what they're going to do. But people should know. Don't you agree? I think so. But the press and son, Jeff Platsky, you know what he told me? Basically, he told me this, that until there is proof, a test... We did some chemical analysis and we found out that this black water has some bad crap in it. That's when it becomes news, when there's proof that there's poison in the water. Hmm, really? Proof, we need proof that there's poison in the water. Isn't the black water, isn't that good enough proof in Great Bend Borough? What about the four blowouts? when they were trying to build a pipeline under Laurel Creek. This is Snow Hollow Road. Uh, this is uh, Monday, the 1st of August. It's about 4.30. And uh, we're here to look at a site where there was a blowout with the pipeline. Drilling mud blew out with bentonite. This is the latest accident. So let's see what's been done here. Everything's good, you know. So is this considered uh, there was a problem here to start with, or what is this? What is this no, situation? No, I, I won't say it's a problem. No, I mean it's typical for that kind of work. Okay. Yeah. Lines, well, yeah. Oh, it's a good thing yeah. for the area, I think. You know. Anyways, I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> yeah, not me either. <laughs> He's directional drilling. He's pumping this out through the drilling. See how the mud looks today. They're working. Well, the mud seems heavier today. You don't have to worry about me. I've, I'm uh, I'm pretty adept at this. I've gone through all kinds of things. Sure. So they want me to leave, of course, you know, and they always tell me it's for my own good and my own safety. 
thousands of gallons of drilling muds. Who knows what that what that's got in it? There's, you know, it's mostly bentonite clay, but we don't know because they don't tell us what's in those drilling muds. Guess where that stuff went? Into the river. Sure, they tried to vacuum it up. What did they do with it once they vacuumed it up? They dumped it somewhere. Where does that end up? In the river. We've got serious problems with the water supply for the city of Binghamton with all of this fracking going on upstream in Pennsylvania, 